is Emily, and this is the Cleaning Music Lady. You all already know I get behind on my laundry because I am a teacher, and usually Jonathan helps me out a whole bunch of laundry, but he's actually had a pretty bad infection and been really sick, so this week I'm trying to kind of do a little bit more than usual, so I'm going to get started with today's video. Doing some laundry and getting our third floor cleaned up, it is just such a mess right now, and we actually have some Airbnb guests that will be staying with us. They will have this entire third floor, so it's got to be spotless, or as we say, air ready. You all have heard me talk about these white multi-purpose bins from the container store above my laundry. I really, really like them a lot and they're very, very affordable if you're looking for a lot of bins that don't cost a whole bunch of money. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here with us today. In this particular multi-purpose bin, I store all of my mop heads. So my O-Cedar Spin Mop, my Shark Steam Mop Mop Head, my iRobot Mop Heads as well as our Swiffer duster refills. So if you look really carefully, you'll see that I do have some other bins inside of the bin, which help keep everything kind of separated and organized. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, bin on bin on bin, but it will help you stay organized and overall your bins will not just become a jumbled mess if you do find smaller bins to put in larger ones. kind of just putting things away and trying to get organized so I can even clean this countertop to begin with. But today I'm going to use two of my favorite products, the Method Anti-Back Cleaner. I'm using this on high touch areas like faucets and the sinks just to make sure everything is very clean and sanitized. I love the way this smells. The scent is bamboo. I don't really know what that smells like, but it's awesome. The second cleaner I'm using is the Method Multi-Purpose Cleaner in Pink Grapefruit. This is an awesome cleaner because you can use it on stone, you can use it on tile, wood, basically anything and it's going to be just fine. It's not going to hurt any of your furniture. So that's a great cleaner if you're looking for something that can do a lot.
I completely laughed when I watched this section back because it just reminded me of all the times when my brother and I were kids, if we weren't getting along or if we did something wrong, my mom's punishment was to hand us a rag and say, go clean some dirty spots on the walls. And this is such a good punishment, I think, because it really did help us work out whatever was bothering us and it gave us a purpose. It's kind of funny, at one point we had washed her hallway walls so much that a few spots had become a bit bare, so my dad actually had to repaint them. I'm using our Simple Human Toilet Bowl brush to get the toilet nice and clean. If you're looking for an actual toilet brush, I would recommend this one over any other. It is very, very, very good at getting basically anything off your toilet. Comparable to like a Clorox toilet wand, this is going to be much more heavy duty. So I keep this up here, especially like when we have guests staying up here, you never know. So this one is nice because the handle is also magnetic, so it sticks right into that caddy. Storing it is super easy because it's never going to fall over because of that magnet. To really give the tub a deep clean, I'm using my Kaboom Foamtastic spray and I'm going to spray the entire bathtub. To actually scrub it, I'm using my OXO bath scrub brush. I like this over the tub sponges because I feel like those just get so gross so fast. This one is really nice because you can turn it at different angles. It is extendable, so you're going to be able to reach every nook and cranny of your tub. If you've been here before, you know that I really, really love my Dyson. It's amazing. It's a multi-floor vacuum, so you can transition from hardwood to tile to carpets effortlessly. You don't have to choose another setting on your vacuum. 
it changes the suction power to match whatever floor you're trying to clean. And overall, the vacuum is very, very heavy duty, but it's not super cumbersome to move and it is very, very easy to clean. So this vacuum is amazing if you're looking for a vacuum. On another note, you might notice that I have some new little slides on my feet and I bought these for only cleaning. I only wear them inside the house. They've made such a big difference for me. My feet were swollen when I was just trying to clean with bare feet and I knew that I needed something to better support my feet a little bit when I was cleaning. So I got this pair of shoes. If you are experiencing that, I recommend that you get a pair yourself. One tip I have for Swiffer mops, we all know that the mop pads do not last as long as they should for how costly they are, but they are so convenient. So one tip is if one side is really dirty, just go ahead and flip that over. And sometimes I like to add a little bit more water to the mop pad after I flipped it just because some of the moisture, it tends to go really quickly. So this is one way to get two uses out of one pad. So the laundry area, I'm actually finishing up our laundry, but I always have this like completely clear of our laundry and just sort of save ours downstairs until the guests have left. So we have this blue laundry basket and we don't use this at all. We leave this for guests so that they can put towels in so they don't have to worry about any laundry. This shelf has got some extra sheets and washcloths and extra towels, extra wipes. We like to keep some stuff just kind of out in the open so it's easy to see so people know where stuff is. I know it's a little bit cluttery looking, but honestly, it's really functional for our guests. The bathtub is squeaky squeaky clean because believe it or not, a lot of guests like to take baths when they come here. We do have a jetted tub, so that's fun. Now before our guests actually get here, I'll probably re-roll some of these towels. That was Jonathan and they're not the most beautiful, but we like to keep the towels here rolled up in this basket just so that guests can easily find them and always keep an extra roll of toilet paper right there with some wipes just in case it's needed and then the sinks just look really bare we just try not to have a whole bunch of stuff out um, just because we want it to feel clutter free for our guests so uh, the floors are looking pretty clean everything's looking great Wait a second, I don't need you And why so settled, I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better, 
One organizing tip that I have, if you don't have a lot of dresser space, then baskets are a really good way to store small things like underwear, socks, accessories. Those things can all be put in a basket and you can make them look nice and organized. I recently just decorated my whole house for fall and I recorded it so there's a fall part one and part two video. If you missed it make sure to check that out at the end of this video. Right now I'm storing all of my spring florals under the bed in this rolling under bed container and this is a good way to just store some things that you might not want to put in a basement or an attic just for moisture and heat but you still want them to be safe and somewhere where you're going to remember where you put them. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, and got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them oh. how could they say i was broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them So as you all know, my closet is super, super small and I have too many clothes, honestly. Um, but anyway, I needed to get some of the summer clothes out of here. I do still have like some of my more fancy summer clothes, but I wanted to just go ahead and get some t-shirts and things out. So let me show you what I did. So I have this container from the container store. I think it's the largest multi-purpose bin, pretty sure. 
And anyway, I just kind of folded them. I'll show you the way I fold shirts. It's not the end all be all, but this is how I do it. I'm using one of my really fluffy, thick microfiber cloths to get up all the dust before I'm going to go back with another cloth and my Method Wood Cleaner and go over everything again. You all know that I love the Method Wood Cleaner. The scent is almond. It's so fresh and calming. Whenever we have guests, I really like to make sure that I've used this product in a lot of the areas that they will be in because I think it leaves such a nice aroma. This ceiling fan was super dusty and honestly I'm ashamed that I have put it off this long. It's one of those things that is easy to overlook if you don't actually ever look up. So make sure that you give your ceiling fans some love this week because I'm sure that some of you are probably in the same boat as me. I'm using the cord attachment on my Dyson to just suck up as much of the dust as possible. You are the one that I just need to feel love. You saved me from the broken house that I built. You took me in with open arms and I still want to 
want you back, back, want you back, back, back. Some say that love don't Here's just a final look at the bedroom. It's so much less dusty and the blinds look a lot more shiny and it's kind of hard to tell. All the clothes are put away. This stand for luggage is free and open for our guests to use. I gave everything a nice little dusting. My brother's gonna have to come back and get some of his school stuff, but the desk is clean in case they want to sit there. And aren't these carpet marks just so satisfying? The vacuum lines, love it. Yeah, I want you back, back, want you back, back, back. Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be. In love at 20 years old, we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I've got you stuck in my memory. Sometimes when I get overwhelmed by the amount of work in one area, I like to break it down even farther. So I felt like this room was just becoming too much for me, so I went to this one area of the room next to the window, and I'm just going to focus on cleaning up this one small space. And seeing this really start to look better is going to help motivate me to keep cleaning. One, two, three. Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be. In love at 20 years old, we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I've got you stuck in my memory.
On this day, I just had a ton of laundry to get folded and put away, kind of sorted out. So you're gonna see me continue to do that and thanks for sticking around with me. Keep watching, there's more cleaning to come. All right, so I just took some stuff off the dresser because I wanted it to not seem so, so cluttery, but I do like leaving out some of this starch spray in case a guest decides they want to iron something, as well as some Lysol disinfectant just to give them peace of mind if they need it. And it's all dusted, and I will fill this entire bowl up with snacks before they get here.
I wanted to show you all the final outcome of today's cleaning in here. It looks a lot better and it's hard to tell but it's so much less dusty. Um, and I decided to move the fan over here just to kind of get it out of the way. We have some extra blankets and pillows for the guests if they decide they need them. I know this room is a little bit girly, but surprisingly, people actually really love this room. They think it's a lot of fun, and most families travel with kids, and even if they don't, they always kind of find it funny to sleep in the girl room. Here's our little coffee station. And looking at our list, let's see. So bedroom one, we accomplished everything, storing those spring and summer decor items, the flowers. I dusted the blinds and the baseboards. I cleaned the window sills, dusted sur surfaces, hung up the clothes, and made the bed. In this bedroom, put away laundry, dusted the blinds and baseboards. I didn't exactly get to the wall. We'll just uh, cross that one out. Um, cleaned the windows and the surfaces and I moved my wedding dress for cleaning and in the bathroom we accomplished everything except I'm gonna leave the shower because we're gonna have to take a few more showers before the guests arrive and I just want to make sure I clean it after our, our last shower up there and then we will start taking baths downstairs and then for the whole floor I got the vacuuming done and I'm going to wait and mop tomorrow because I'm just tired you all so sometimes things just don't get done and that is okay just cut yourself a break because you're doing the best you absolutely can thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys next time